Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. There's a little Popeye here. He'll pop up, I'm sure. There he is, he's a little Popeye. And uh, we are the RC Sailors. Today, we're sharing with you something very, very cool that Abby and I have been out testing quite a bit lately. Uh, this is our very, very first electric scooter. Now, you might think that's kind of an odd thing to see on our channel, but we have been very inspired by some RC friends of ours. Some of our patrons, Kent and Melanie, with Impromptu Adventures, they have a YouTube channel. We'll have that link below. Go check it out. Um, they're awesome patrons of ours. They have their own Aero Wheels, which is yeah. a different version of a Segway. Segway. They're so fun. We got to try them out when they came to our fun fly. And that inspired us to want to try to start getting our own little electric little transport, yeah. transportation devices. I don't know. Nathan was on board way more than I was at first. Oh, yeah. And then I got on this thing. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. Now, I'm the one that wanted to pull the trigger. I'm wanting something kind of a little bit maybe bigger. Like, You're wanting like a scooter that you can sit on. So with a seat, yeah. But I thought... You know, if we start a little cheaper and shop around a little bit, maybe Abby will enjoy this because we like to get out and walk a lot together. So now that we have this and she's ridden it once, I'd say daily, once. multiple times. I've ridden it a lot more than once. But after just one oh, time, man. it only took one time. <laughs> now Abby's like Popeye, like, can we go, can we go, can we go for a walk, please, please, please? I don't <laughs> think we have video of it, but I've even gotten Popeye to like walk and run alongside mm -hmm. it. It's pretty funny. She like holds his leash while she's riding it. It's pretty cool. Very carefully. Now, <laughs> so Abby and I are testing out the scooter on this very small, lightly, uh, tightly packed, light gravel. It's enough for me to get that dirty. <laughs> yeah, it gets it dirty, but it, it does do a good job. Oh, yeah. She has it on speed mode two, two which is the <laughs> perfect cruising speed to go along with me on the bike. Although at three, and even on two, you can just gun oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. and I'm not going full speed. I can pr probably one. I might be able to just. Have the throttle down the whole time and be right. good. Right. Um, and then we are trying this trail out. We've never gone on it before. We came from the school and we are now here, which is a dead end. And it, it was 0.7 miles. So now what we're going to try to do is go back past the school and do this whole trail, which will be another 0.7 plus 2.8, which is 3.5 miles. And then we'll come back to the, the car, or the school, which will be... 2.1 miles from the other end. Exactly. So we'll we'll have done five and a half miles almost, right? We should still have enough to keep going. We're hoping. So that's what we're going to test. Day one of official testing. It's really fun. <laughs> this, uh, like Kent and Melanie's channel, link down below. We'll have this link below for you too. And I got to say, even us as adults have no problem riding this at all. Mm -mm. It does have a weight limit. I think it's like 300 pounds. Yeah, it's Two, 280, high. 290, somewhere around there. I weigh about 200 pounds and I'm six foot four inches tall. Abby is shorter than me and weighs less than me. And we both... We don't need to say how much no, I weigh. No, no, we, we both <laughs> uh, do a really good job on this. Now, I will say, in all honesty, me being 6'4", it's probably just a tiny, tiny bit short for me. I'm 5'7", 5'8", and it's the perfect height for me. Perfect for Abby. For me, um, <laughs> the longest I've ridden it without switching off to Abby was three miles. And at three miles, I didn't have to take a break or anything. I mean, I wasn't really slouching over, just my hands were kind of far down to get the, the bars, you know. Mm -hmm. And what we've been doing is going out on a bike, <laughs> And the scooter, because we only have one, you know, we wanted to see if it was any fun or not. And so we take the bike out and the scooter at the same time, and then we just switch off so we can ride. I was going as fast as I could. <sighs> For a second there, I had zero orders. I, I was going as fast as I could just to get up the hill yeah. so that I could film you, because you, even after that long ride, all you had to do was just stand on a scooter to get up this hill. Hey, this one, this one was worse for sure. <laughs> Let's talk the scooter though. So we talked weight First limit. off, it only takes about three hours for it to fully charge. Yes, and it, the batteries are in the pole here. It claims to be able to go about, what is it? It's 18 kilometers and I think that ends up being like 11-ish miles. I'm not good at conversions, but anyways. Um, but the we most we've out. been able to do is- uh, Six and a half, seven miles. Yeah. And that's 
uh, we trade off. Mm -hmm. So it probably would do, it probably could go an extra few miles if you were a kid or so. But what we found out, what we've been doing is we go three miles out mm -hmm. and then three miles back and it still has a perfect amount of juice. You're not mm -hmm. killing your batteries. It's a six mile round trip and we're, in a, we're adults. Mm -hmm. and that's pretty amazing, I think. It yeah. just blows my mind how awesome it is. How do we know when we're three miles out? Because on the tip of the handlebar here, on the scooter itself, there is an odometer, is that what it's called? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's an odometer. And a speedometer. Right. It has yeah, all kinds of going. info up here. It tells you what rate you're in because there's three rates, one, two, and three. Yep. So three is the fastest, one is the slowest. It has your battery life, how fast you're going, how long you've been riding, how far you've gone on that trip, mm -hmm. how far you've gone Total. over the lifetime of the scooter. Which we have gone 37.3 kilometers. kilometers. We've uh, had it a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's, we've only had it up, you know. We've had it for less than a week. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. So it has three buttons here up on the top and a very nice display that you can even see during the day. And you can switch the speeds with these two little arrows on the sides. Yep. And it, it does, it's a very noticeable difference. If you were to ride around on number one, I think it goes a max of like 12 kilometers an hour mm -hmm. or something like that if you're lucky mm -hmm. on super level, super smooth ground, bump it up and it goes like 16, bump it up again, it goes like 21 or yeah, something. The fastest I've been able to get good. it go downhill because I like to try to go fast is 32 kilometers an hour downhill. A little that's, dangerous. That's pretty fun, yeah. <laughs> a little dangerous, but it's fun. It has two modes of brakes. Mm -hmm. You have the rear brake like a lot of toy grade scooters have. Which has the light. There is a light and it's motion sensor, like if it just barely wiggles, it that light goes. turns on. So it's, it's interesting how that works, but basically while you're riding it, that light is always on and when it's sitting still, the light is always off. Mm -hmm. So it works really well for that. Then there's also a brake um, throttle control thing up here. It, it functions the exact same way as your thumb throttle does, but it's on the left handle, so you have electronically controlled brakes. They basically just apply some resistance to the motor on the front wheel because this is front wheel drive. Mm -hmm. And so it applies the brakes to the front. Now, if you're going downhill and fairly fast, you should obviously use the back brake, maybe a combination with some of the front brake. I only use the front brake. For me, it feels weird. So I like to do He's worried it's gonna two. like chug him off the front, but like if you just tap it, it and won't. lean back and like, you know, have your arms pretty tight, you're not going anywhere. Uh, that's just, <laughs> that's just how I feel with it. Um, and then the throttle is on the right hand side mm -hmm. and it feels kind of like a four wheeler throttle or dirt, well, a dirt bike is a handle. So it's you just, know. you just push down on the. Yeah. It's a spring-loaded lever thing, a little paddle. Uh, very intuitive, very ergonomic. Uh, it feels good. It doesn't feel uncomfortable or anything, which is awesome. And then one cool thing that I love about this is right on the front here is, Sticker. well, our stickers, <laughs> but a super bright headlight. I mean, it's bright. crazy bright. When you're out riding in the pitch dark, you can see this, you can see with this really, really well. It's a very bright LED light and you can have it on even when the thing doesn't have power it can still turn on and it's just awesome it is you it's can really see there bright. very bright i mean it's really good headlight really good light um and then yeah and we put our rc sailor sticker up here and one down here on the bottom of it and then it, it's very very easy to unfold there's a little lever here you just push down on it and then you pull this up and it snaps into place and that thing is not going anywhere Yep. And then it does the same thing to go down. You just pull that lever and it comes down and it snaps. And so you can carry it around like this. Mm -hmm. And if you really need to save space, the handles actually come off of it. You can just untwist them. It's very easy to take these handles off. But when you're riding it, they don't come loose or anything because you basically keep it tight with your hands. You see the handles come off. So it gets almost, basically it gets as skinny as the pad that you're standing mm -hmm. on. So that's really cool. It can fit in the trunk of my Honda Civic easily. Oh yeah. So it's really not, it's really compact. Uh, it's a really nice compact size. Um, the way it charges, there's this little plug behind the handlebar right here mm -hmm. and it's got a rubber cover and then this really long cord, really long. 
It's very nice long cable, it plugs into it. Like Abby said at the beginning of the video, it only takes like three, three hours, hours max for it to, yeah. to charge. And uh, this is a European connector. That's what it comes with. Right, so you need to get a little converter, but they cost like, like 50 dollar. cents or a dollar. I'll link some below, or one of them below. And it works just perfectly, just absolutely perfectly. Cannot complain about that. There's also an optional kickstand in this little box. We haven't put that on yet just because I guess we don't feel a need for it yet. Well, and we haven't really gone anywhere where we have to stop and riding leave it. and leave it. We just keep riding the whole a Very nice kickstand though. It's not uh, cheap or anything. It's all metal and it's spring loaded. It's really nice. And uh, that way you can leave the scooter standing up confidently when you step away yeah. from it. We're out testing this again. Um, we're already two kilometers in. We're trying to go out five kilometers, which will be a little over three miles, and then back three miles. And if you ask me, for a little scooter like that, whoa, sorry, this is hard to ride a bike and do this. Uh, that's really impressive. And we're doing uphill, downhill. It's on this gravelly path. This is the bike path in Huntington. So, so far it's doing really well. I'm getting a workout on the bike, and Abby's just cruising along on the scooter. I get the workout on the way back. <laughs> yeah, so I get to ride it on the way back. We're having a lot of fun with this. When I asked Abby what she wanted to do today, the very first thing she suggested was take the scooter out again. And she took care of getting it charged up and stuff, so I know she likes it. So we've gotten it to go about an average of six miles on one battery mm -hmm. charge. And how long does that take us? Like 25, 30 minutes or so? For the round trip? Yeah. Not as longer than that, longer I thought. Than that? Yeah, longer okay. than that. Uh, the wheels are very hard rubber. Um, and there's the dual shocks in it. Yeah, yeah. the front wheels uh, yeah. have two shocks on each side under the plastic paneling here. So it helps smoothen the ride out. Now we've been lucky and have been able to find sidewalks and road to ride on but and it does really really good on sidewalks and road mm -hmm. but a lot of the paths around here are made out of this really small tightly compacted gravel it's almost like sand but it's gravel mm -hmm. and this we were worried at first will it be able to run on it you know is it going to slip and slide or anything it does amazingly well as you've seen a lot of the b-roll footage here mm -hmm. it's all that tightly compacted gravel so it does really good on multiple surfaces. Grass, you know, it's not. We haven't even really of, tried it in grass. Just a, a small patch of grass. I yeah, tried it. It went through it okay, good. but I don't think it could drive around like our backyard or anything. I don't think that would be fun. Any, any nah. And then uh, hills. It, it kind of do hills and inclines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does surprisingly well, but it goes very slow on the hills. Yeah, and then sometimes you're gonna want to give it a few kicks to help it too. That'll help. That'll help with your battery life right. too, if you help it go up the hill. If you hold that throttle stick down, like full, and just kick like a normal mm -hmm. scooter, yeah. And it's it's amazing, because you can get up a really big steep hill in like three or four kicks. Yeah. That's it, our whole neighborhood is hills, so. And that's where we've done a lot of the driving. It like, makes a big easy. difference, and it, it does mm -hmm. save the battery. The battery indicator is pretty accurate. When you get down to that last little dash, you know it's gonna start uh, losing its juice fairly soon. But you'll also see it while when you go up hills and stuff, you'll see it all of a sudden just go down to low, low battery. But then after you do the hill, it'll go back up to normal. But then when it's finally low, mm -hmm. the battery uh, image will start to blink. Like our then, camera battery is right yeah, now. <laughs> and then the screen will just turn off. Yeah. That's it. It's amazing. I mean, we're just, I'm trying to think about the things that a person would maybe want to know and tell you guys those things. But in general, this thing is just really fun. This is going to be a really fun family activity. That's why we're yeah. excited to pick up some other type of motorized electric battery operated device. So we have two to get around. And like when we go on trips or camping, we'll take the drone with us too. We can take this stuff and it just fun and you can get places farther yeah. than what you normally could walking the, it's really fun you know what's growing in popularity is camping yep like out of rvs and yep. stuff and people like to take their bikes but if if you are tent camping and maybe only have a small vehicle it's so bikes hard take up a lot of room to take bikes and like some of those bike racks are just terrible we've gotten yeah. some that are just terrible they claim to hold two and then one is like barely on there and it's pretty scary going down the highway that's why I like this. This is fun. It's so compact. Kids, 
adults, anybody, if you had two or three of these and you're a camper, you need two or three of these because most campsites, at least like around the lakes that we go to, mm -hmm. are these crazy paved, you know, mm -hmm. uh, driveways and stuff and you can just ride bikes. Kids ride bikes around those places mm -hmm. all the time. These scooters would do amazing around there too. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to pick up a second one, but we're also gonna maybe shop around and see what other options are out there and stuff. But we love this. This is a great way to get out and have RC adventures, which is what we are all about. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take this out and fly our drone with it some. I'm sure you're gonna see this more on the channel. You're gonna see this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. If we're out with an RC vehicle, we're gonna have this charged out with us too because there's probably always somewhere we can be riding mm -hmm. it. So we'll have this out a lot and I highly encourage you guys to at least consider getting something like this. We're telling you, RC stuff is fun and you know that based on the hundreds, if not almost a thousand videos of RC stuff on our channel now we're telling you you're already out you're already out with your awesome drones and trucks and stuff think about getting one of these and if you're short on ideas for christmas on what to get somebody your husband your your wife your kids your parents even think about one of these because this is amazing i'm pretty sure as long as somebody can is capable of walking they could, they could use this yes and it's and they'll like it mm -hmm. i I, don't, I couldn't imagine someone getting something like this and, and not, liking, not it. liking it yeah it's amazing it's, it's so <laughs> you have fun. to be a big old grouch if you didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> the price is surprising too this is one of the higher quality ones mm -hmm. that we have seen that yeah. is a version like this because it has the odometer, it has the kickstand, it has a long battery life. You can go six miles as an adult. That's yeah. amazing. We'll have this link down in the description box below. Sometimes we almost spend as much time on the description box as, as editing the video. Right. So be sure to check that out. Click that little triangle right under the video so you can check it out. This is so cool. We're going to have this on the channel more, but we wanted to just go ahead and get it out there because we've been enjoying it so much and let you guys know what we've been into lately. Mm -hmm. This has been consuming a lot of our time, so we wanted to share that with it's you. It's gotten us behind too. If you noticed, we had, we missed a day, then we had a late release, then a noon release, and now this one is a late release. So we're getting back on track. Maybe one day we'll quit with the 4 a.m. releases, but uh, we're getting there. What we should have been doing some days is charging a drone, taking it out and flying it, but instead we just went with this and just said, you know, uh, 30 okay. some kilometers is what we've done in less than a week. So. It's pretty good. Yeah. And that means one of us has either walked or ridden the bike that long. Mm -hmm. far too, so. Probably ridden the bike. <laughs> My, bat, uh, my bike got a flat tire the yep. last time we were out, so I'm pretty sure instead of replacing the tire, we're just going to get another scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're looking for something different and fun in your this life, so cool. go check this out. And we will see you in the next video. Bye!